Hey guys, it's a beautiful day today here in Oklahoma and I have a few things that I need to get done in the garden so I'm going to take you along with me and I'll show you some of the things that have been going on as well. So this is the area right by my um, deck and I think it's filling out really pretty right now. We've got the hostas down here, one, two, three, four sections of hosta. I have mint there buried in the ground. I have some of the um, coral sedum there and behind it I have some creeping jenny and that'll be for ground cover and then I have a couple of hookahs back here a couple of chlorbells I have a um, a dark green one and then I have a lighter green one over there this area has mint I added a hookah in here and I've got my mondo grasses in there and I added a, I added a nandina shoot right there and over here it's a little bit of the same we've got the mondo grass we've got the hookara i just planted a couple of dusty millers in here for some contrast so but i i just planted two hookaras in here the green ones they do have a colorful shoots of that um with some reddish flowers uh, i don't know if they're past their prime i've never had these these particular hookara so we'll see what happens but i thought i love the shape of them and i love hookaras so those are in there then i have mint and there's the other Dusty Miller and my little collection of soda bottles. And this is how the vegetable garden is looking right now. The tomato plants are getting nice and tall. And down here, I've got my cucumber plant, my climbing uh, beans, my climbing pole beans. And those are, those look like they're coming along nicely. Okay, so down here I have, um, that is my cilantro and it's actually growing and it seems to be doing okay but we've had a lot of overcast days here is my dill oh the dill is not looking so great right now huh i wonder if something's eating the dill because there were more dill plants here but here is the basil oh my gosh this is the prettiest i've seen it it wasn't even this big yesterday that we have had a little bit of rain so um, i'm sure that's why it's jumped up in size wow that looks nice and of course the mint my my ever faithful mint and back here I have some lettuces and they seem to be um, doing just fine even in our, um, our few hot days. And over here are the, the okra that I planted a little bit later. I have squirrels and I think that they have come along and um, taken some bites out of some of the little plants. So I had to plant some more seeds in there and I'm waiting for those to pop up. So I've had to replant a few things because of the squirrels but that just comes with the territory of this of this backyard so that's why i have the green fence around going around there and i need to complete it over here but i have it started over here so um and the corn look at that corn how neat um i've got some down here i've got some zinnia plants and over here's the squash that i've had to replant a few sections because of, of the oops because of the squirrels again but we've got some squash growing up there and these are the best ones so far. These have um, made it past the initial squirrel, <laughs> the initial squirrel um, invasion. So, and in the middle here, I have, I planted some radishes and they look like they're growing really well. So I'm super excited. Radishes seem to do very well. And um, there's some there, there, and in between the two tomato plants, I've got more radishes and they're being shaded by the tomatoes. So they seem to be the tallest. So I planted a lot of some herbs to keep um, this bed kind of um, full and hopefully even um, keep some of the critters out because the critters don't like certain herbs. So I'm hoping that I just get, you know, quite a bit out of here. Let's move on. There's my chase tree. And it's starting to get a few buds over here. And those are gonna be purple in the summer. Okay, so there's my crepe myrtle. And it has some tremendous growth on it right now. And a lot of leaves have bushed out. So those are looking really good. And this is my fire pit area. There is the dogwood trees there and over there. Here is the bed. Everything's looking okay over here. Looking pretty good. I planted some seeds. And so I've got some flower seeds down there and over there. And there was another one, but I don't see it. 
and I did plant some melissum, so that's kind of growing in bunches like right there. There's some melissum there, and there's a couple of other bunches of melissum somewhere. And I can't remember if these are black-eyed Susans. They kind of look like zinnias, which are my another favorite of mine because they're very faithful. And um, so, but I did plant some black-eyed Susans, and so I'm kind of looking for those. And then over here, there are a couple of Cosmos that made it. So I'm really excited about that. I planted a bunch of seeds. And there's only two plants. So I didn't see that one. So now I have three. So yay. This is a gardenia that I bought the other day. Um, I bought it because, let's see, because I needed to fill in a spot in my secret garden. And then I got it home and then I realized it needed shade for the um, second part of the day. And so I can't put it over there because it's a very sunny place. So I have it shaded over here by um, the rose bush for now. And there's that one right there. And over here is my husband's blackberry bush that he is just loving. Got a lot of blackberries showing up. He's already got um, a few handfuls and he loves this thing. Here's the deck planters. And I've got the potato vine in there, which is another very faithful plant that um, looks really beautiful. And behind it, I have the um, the tropical Jacina there that's getting kind of buried. So I'm going to steal some of these, these growths, and I'm going to start spreading them around now that I have a little bit more growth. Let me show you how to do that. So what I did was I broke off a piece last week of about right here. Just kind of break it off maybe maybe like three or four inches and break it off below a node or cut it off below a node you would clip it right there take off these bottom leaves right here i would take off these three one two three and once you do that you can just stick them in some good dirt and they will grow so that's what i did and that's how i got this plant it takes a few days for it to, to um, for its roots to grow. So this one has started, and um, so it's look, looking nice and firm now. And I put this one back here because I need this couple of plants to guard this clematis back here. And because clematis apparently needs some shaded feet, uh, but it does like the sun. So that's why I have this one kind of in the shade over here. And as soon as these things um, grow a little bit it'll shade the bottom better I'm hoping I'll get more growth out of that clematis so it'll climb this trellis so after the blackberry bush there um, down here I've got the row of colorful containers that are looking really filled out and pretty there's the tomato plant there it's getting tall it's getting a few flat little bitty flowers in there you can see the yellow flowers which means the tomatoes are about to come and there is the the um, Dracaena, which is a tropical plant. And then I've got the two of the barberries. These are green. They do show some red at some point in the year. And down here, I just have some um, sedum in there. And I think I have some seeds in there. So I was waiting for those to pop up. There's another Dracaena and then there's my elm tree. So here is the secret garden. I'll just show you like that. And we've got Dusty Miller. In the pot, I have a crepe myrtle, a black diamond crepe myrtle. And down there are the daylilies. And behind it is the, the um, one um, canna that came back. They have really pretty red flowers when they grow up. But I only had one come back. And down here, there, of course, is the purple salvia. And the dusty miller, which is looking terrific. And this one's getting kind of tall, so I need to... I need to go ahead and trim that piece off right there, but it's too sunny right now. I'll do that when it's cool. Okay, so then up here I've got my um, Rose of Sharon, and um, that's looking pretty. Then I've got another purple salvia and coral sedum in the back. These are all these are all plants that do really well in Oklahoma, and that's the kind of plants that I have to have because I am my green thumb is um, oh it's a light green thumb so. Um, I've got in this container, I did put a golden unimus back there that wasn't doing so hot in the front and I put it back here so it could get a little bit, uh, maybe, maybe it might like the spot better. 
and so in here I've got some Creeping Jenny and I think I have some uh, those are foxglove seeds I believe so it may be too late to have planted foxglove seeds but I thought I would you know better now than never and I've got the zinnias popping up in the yard that have reseeded themselves I have two over here um, one on the other side and then I have them popping up in the grass and I think I'm going to start transplanting those soon see and my fountain's clean now got the algae out over here I've got um, coral sedum on the bottom some dusty miller these are the um, the bulbs that I planted earlier they're done but you just kind of have to let them stay there so they can get ready for next year and in these two pots I have some uh, saplings that I that I just kind of gathered from my yard they are they are mulberry saplings and I think they're invasive in our area but um, I went ahead and put since I had them growing went ahead and put them in a couple of pots for some height in the garden and I think they're gonna look pretty once they start you know getting a little bit taller and I'm, I'm fine with keeping them in there I, I think I think they're gonna look really cute so and they'll give some maybe a little bit of shade over this area but I am gonna definitely keep them in containers so all right, and over here, there's some artemisia in here that's really soft to the touch, and there's some creeping jenny back there. So if you're looking for plants that do well in Oklahoma, I need plants that will do um, will do what I can. I'm gonna go, go ahead and come over here and trim this crepe myrtle. I'm gonna trim this crepe myrtle that is uh, growing pretty well over here, but it does need some trimming up. So I'll do that, and it's surrounded by Mondo grass on the bottom, as well as some dusty millers. Um, I have three surrounding it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm trying to turn this into a tree form. Right now it looks more like a bush, but it's eventually going to be a tree form. So I do want to um, trim up the leaves and bring the canopy up, and then that's going to start bringing, bringing it into a tree form. Okay, so you can see down here that um, I'm bringing the canopy up somewhat, which that means that I'm not letting the leaves grow all the way to the bottom and I see one over there that I need to get this one here hope I can reach it oops there's one I'm trying to grow from the bottom I just cut that okay so now you're seeing a bit of the um the tree form and I'm not ready to cut more than that so I'm gonna leave that there and let's see there's a little bit there Maybe that one there. And I kind of like it just like it is. Because it's still a new plant and I don't want to um, be too aggressive with it. So it's still kind of like a baby to me. So I'm going to treat it that way. So, uh, but the canopy is looking really cute. And this is the one I'm not really sure if I need to cut this one off or not. If I do, or if I did, it would be right here. I would trim this whole thing off. Um, but I'm going to see where it goes. I'll wait till maybe midsummer to see what it looks like. But, okay, so I've got that one um, trimmed up. And I actually want to trim that Dusty Miller in the back. I'm going to trim, because it's getting a little tall. I think, I, oh, I did. Looks like I trimmed it there. This one might be just fine. Okay. But we got that dusty miller in the back, and I think that's pretty, but you don't really see it because of all the, the leaves on the, the crepe myrtle. Or I may leave it there so in the winter, since it's a bit of an evergreen, in the winter um, it might just be real pretty back there. So maybe I will leave it. Okay, that's all I have for that right now. Okay, so that is an update on the backyard. I was going to go in the front and do an update on the front yard, but I think I'll do that at another time because I'm getting ready to go to Lowe's with my daughter and because she's working in her yard and um, there's a flower bed that we're working on for her yard and I'm gonna throw some seeds in there and stuff and she's also working on um, doing an electrical line to her pool so maybe at some point I'll get to share some of her stuff with you too so uh, thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye